ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Jake Sheffer. I'm a theater teacher here at Smith. I gotta tell you, we are super psyched to have each and every one of you. Um, I'm gonna go through a couple boring details really fast because I kind of have to legally. And all that stuff. Um, just so you all know, um, there are bathrooms right outside of the auditorium, right behind you for your use, directly across from the auditorium. Uh, the show this evening is a two-act play. It is approximately two and a half hours. The first act is an hour and a half. There will be a brief 10-minute intermission, and a second half that is about 45 minutes, which is a little bit contains a little bit more adult content that might not be suitable for children under nine years old. However, that being said, I think you all will find that the time really does fly. Um, it is going to be an extraordinary evening for you all. I want to share a brief story with you, and then we'll get started. I wanted, I was thinking, can I get a show of hands real fast of people who were here last night to see the show? <laughs> Aside from the understudies, it had to be. Oh, sorry. Oh, come on. Jeez. Well, that's helpful. That's good. <laughs> All right. Um, great. Okay. Um, so I have a slightly different spiel. Uh, I was trying to think today if there was one way I could sum up this experience for me as an educator and as a director, um, aside from what I put in your in the director note, and I couldn't, but fortunately one of our students could. I was trying to figure out how to sum up this experience, and I thought back to the first meeting that we had, where we had everyone in a circle, all like 50 some of us, and we listed off just our names, what our role was, and one thing that we wanted to contribute to the show every day. When it got to me, I said, yeah, I'm Mr. Sheffer, I'm your director, and I'm going to be the glue that kind of holds all our ideas together. And then our lovely stage manager, Grace, we got to her, and she said, Hi, I'm Grace. I'm your stage manager, and because he said that he's going to be the glue, I'm going to be the strongest duct tape we can find. <laughs> and that, is, that sums it up in the most simple, straightforward way I can mention. Every student that has, and, and a faculty member for that member who's been a part of this production, has come together to pull out all the stops, to think of every nuance. It's very easy to say, ah, well, this is extracurricular, you know what, we don't have to worry about making that scene great or this, this costume work, but every little detail had the strongest duct tape with it, <laughs> right along there. So it was, that is what summed it up. And it's come together to make a result that I think is going to really empower you as a human being. So without further ado, please give audience to Into the Woods. Environment, baby. 
surprise for her. I have emptied a pot of lentils into the ashes for you. If you have picked them out in two hours' time, then you shall learn the ball with us. Perhaps a
snail or... <sighs> but I learned a mother in there and lost a spare. In return, however, I said fair is fair. In the mind, you have faith in that you're rightful there. I will call it square. I had a, a brother? No! But you had a sister. But the witch refused to tell him any more of his sister. Not even that her name was Rapunzel. I thought I'd been more than this and that we all might live happily ever after. But how was I to know that his father had also hidden in his pocket? You see, when I hear in my garden, my mother warned me, I would be punished if I were ever to lose any of the beans. Beans? The special beans. And then, knowing and knowing some of my beans, I was questioning crawl and over the wall, and then bang, crash, a lightning flash, and, well, that's another story, never mind. Anyway, it was the big day.
the branch at the grave of her mother, and she visited there so often and wept so much that her tears watered it until it had become a handsome tree. I think we'll try to be kind, Mother, doing only what I want for you. Why then am I left behind, Mother? Is there something more that I should do? What is wrong with me, Mother? Something must be wrong. I wish. What child? Specify. Opportunity is not a lengthy visitor, and good fortune, like bad, will fall when least expected. I wish. Do you know what you wish? Are you certain what you wish is what you want? If you know what you want. <coughs> Oh, 
that little girl in the red cape. Forget the little girl and get the cape. You startled me. That's the cape. Get it, get it, get it. How am I supposed to get it? And you take it. I can't just take a cloak from a little girl. Why would you take it? Wow. Uh, well, where did you get such a beautiful 
Red cape. My favorite one. Really? I would love to have a red cape like that. You look pretty foolish. May I see it? I don't, I don't want you to have a cape. Please give it back. I need it badly. Give it back, please. Forget the little girl and get the cape.
they know that those beans would grow into an enormous stalk that would stretch into the heavens. Your heart is sliding, so it's not even really scared. You're all alone. 
What, you took the five gold pieces? <laughs> I did not pay you me! Where are they? <laughs> no, he went instead.
waiting for the wolf that attacked us. That is skinny animal. And best of all, she needs a beautiful knife for protection. Look at I have. And the lace. Go the legs. <laughs> I don't need that egg kit from that hen. Where did you get that egg? I got it from the king of the giant. Up there. And you think this is something? Wait until you see the magical heart they have. Plays the most beautiful music without you even having to touch it. <laughs> of course it does. Why don't you go up to the kingdom right now and bring it back and show me? I could. You could not. I could. You could not, Mr. Liar. I'm not a liar. After having cast out Rapunzel to a remote desert, the witch returned to take the prince by surprise. And as he left from the tower, the thorns into which he fell pierced his eyes and blinded him. As for Cinderella, she returned from her final visit to the festival. Deleterious, but sure. 
Yeah. Let's make two of them. He obviously has a spear of some sort. We only need one. Yes. <laughs> There's a dead giant in my backyard. I heard Jack coming down the beanstalk calling for his axe. And when he got there, he took it and started hacking. And there was a crash and no sign of Jack. For all I know, he's been crushed by the ogre. Worrying will do you no good. If he's alive, then he's alive. If he's been crushed, well, there's nothing you can do about that. <laughs> I need some rest for tomorrow's search for this. Doesn't anyone care? There's a giant falling from the sky! He is dead, is he not? With such a thud, I suppose. The third thing that is here, you will not. Yes, um, slipper, hair. A cow cave. That cow does not look as the white. Oh, she is! <laughs> this cow has been covered with flour. We had a white cow, obviously, we did. Obviously we did. There, she's dead! Why would you prefer a live cow? Of course I prefer a live cow. So bring me the dead cow and I'll bring her back to life. Okay. 
pain and swallowed her pain. And so she joined the prince on his horse, riding off to become his bride.
much, much bigger. So big that we have an expendable bug. Thank you. 
stupid mother. <laughs>
I just carried out.
trial. Well, I'm asleep. All right, I promise. <laughs> no, no, you get away from there. You killed her. I, I was thinking of the greater good. That's my job. <laughs>
este papel was made of history. And you've always been a big crush, don't you? This is ridiculous. So what am I doing here? I'm in the wrong story. Wait, wait, just a moment. You have a princess. Yes. And I have a baker. You're right. How foolish. Foolishness can happen once, once again. Can we? And the mold just the life for the mold that we had seen before. Any moment. But this is not right.
straight from the path. Maybe I shouldn't have attended the ball. Yes. Maybe you shouldn't have. Where are you going? Away from here. But you said we have to find our way out of this together. Together or apart, it doesn't matter now. We need your help. Don't you understand? It was my wife who really helped. I depended on her for everything. <coughs> you would leave your child? You will be happier in the arms of a princess. No, wait! All right. Come on.
the plant. Mm -hmm. What? Oh. If only there was some way we could surprise her. She's just all surprise. Yes, how can we think of something? Good friends! I need your help now more than ever! What are the friends? I don't care! What matters now is that we find a way to fell the giant. How can you help? You could do that? Oh, how can I ever thank you? You can talk to birds. <laughs> the birds will help. <laughs> oh. When the giant returns, the birds will come and they'll attack her and peck her eyes out until she's blind. And what good will that do? Well, then you can strike her or surprise her or do whatever you do to kill a giant. Once she's blinded, she'll stumble about. She'll get angry? Yes, of course she's not. Yes. Near the ground with pitch. We'll lure her to an area <coughs> near the pitch, and her shoes will stick, and she won't be able to move. And I will strike her from behind. Yes. Where? Yes, where? A tower. Uh, what tower? An old tower. I mean, those are trees. Yes. Oh, send to the tower. Okay, we'll have to hurry. It's almost dark. Here. Thank you. Excited. Oh, oh. Darling, I did not recognize you with the clothes. With the baby? You must go to the castle at once. There's a giant on the loose. The giant has been to the castle. No! You're right. Darling, why are you being so cold? Maybe because I'm not your only love, am I? Oh, it's true. I do love you, but it, it, it's true. Why, if you love me, would you have strayed? I thought if you were mine, I would be a Happy as I was, content as I have been. And there's just one part of me that just contented me even more. I have on occasion wanted more, but that does not mean I went in search of it. If you behave this way as a prince, what kind of king will you be? I was raised to be charming, not sincere. I did not be as <laughs> born a king. I'm not perfect. What was you? I think you should go. Really? But I do love him. Consider that I have been lost, a victim of the giant. Is that what you really wish? My father's house was a nightmare. <coughs> Your house was a dream, and, and now I want something in between. Please, go. I will always love the man who I ran away. And I, the faraway prince. Her deadly blow. That soon will pay for this. After I threw the giant, I will kill him. You'll do no such thing. Why not? Because that would not be right. What he did was wrong. He killed my mother. Shouldn't have done that, right? I guess. And he must die. No. 
Why not? I don't know. Stop asking the questions I cannot answer. I'm going to kill him. Then kill him. No. Don't kill me. Mother isn't here now. I promise what she'd say. Nothing's quite so clear now.
How proud your wife would have been here. And how sad it is that my son will never know her. Maybe it just wasn't meant to have children. Don't be ridiculous. Of course we're meant to have children. But how will I raise my son with no one to mother him? Just calm the child. Just calm the child. Tell the story of all that had happened. Your mother and father, you'll know what to do. Alone. Once upon a time.